In the meantime, for some of the biggest stories in the markets, we welcome in Kevin Hanks, senior equities contributor here on Schwab Network. General Motors stock down 10% this year. And not only dealing with the strike, but the Wall Street Journal also has reports now of at least 20 million GM vehicles that could have parts that could be explosive. Could you explain? As if this company doesn't have enough problems with labor strikes and negotiations with the, the UAW, now they've got airbag problems, Nicole. Uh, it looks like the Wall Street Journal reports at least 20 million GM vehicles may need to be recalled. It sounds like uh, with, with a potential dangerous airbag part that the government says should be recalled, the Wall Street Journal said. So the number of affected GM vehicles hasn't been disclosed publicly, but it makes the automaker among the most exposed to the push by U.S. safety regulators related to the airbags. So airbag problems, like I said, as if they don't have enough to worry about, now they've got airbag recall problems, Nicole. Look, and they also secured $6 billion in a credit line. Um, this is they anticipate yes. that the UAW strike will continue for longer. So a couple of pieces of news pertaining to GM today. Um, and then you have Lam Wesson, which has been a winner after its quarterly report. Tell us on raising the guidance. Yeah, Lam Weston up 9.4%. They are a frozen potato product supplier. Who better to talk about frozen potatoes than an Irish Catholic, Nicole? So uh, Lam Weston Holdings, yeah, they big jumps in some of their numbers. Year on year, their first quarter sales growth of 48% to $1.67 billion. What they're doing is they're focusing on the higher margin, the higher profit products. Their volume actually declined, Nicole. Why? Because they're, they made a decision to exit certain lower priced and lower margin businesses as they can they strategically manage their customer and product mix. So switching from low margin, uh, weaker products to the stronger margin, stronger products has really boosted some of these numbers. They have returned $40.8 million dollars in dividends to customers they have bought back 100 million shares of stock so they're recruiting re reducing the overall float this company up nine point uh nine and a quarter percent we'll call it right now is showing all the signs of making big changes in their company starting to show up on the bottom line nicole right all right thank you for that good to see you kevin hanks appreciate it